this device here. Everybody's confused about how to operate this device right here, the epicenter. Very confused. Let me give you a little quick demo. The epicenter does not increase bass. What it does, it restores the lost harmonics that were present in the recording that have been attenuated. It does not add dBs. You can put this in line with your amplifier if you already had it set with our skillet soap or multimeter. You can take it right back out and you do not have to mess with the amplifier again because it does not add emphasis. It's not a boost, it's a restore. Boost means you take something and increase it. Restore means you take something that is lowered and bring it back to the, op to the amplitude of all the rest of the harmonics. And that's all that percent does. So sometimes it doesn't work on bass heavy music for the simple fact that the music is already recorded and it's got all the amplitude there. It works in a lot of older tracks, music recording late, early 2000s and 90s. It really restores because back then systems didn't have the, uh, well, especially subwoofers didn't have the capabilities they have today. Some people were using the epicenters back in the 90s because they had SPL systems. And, well, everybody was using Hell, I've been using them since the 90s. I love my epicenter because I know how to set it. And with that being said, let me show you how to set it. That first knob, this knob right here, that knob is how wide you want the, the, the when you pick point a frequency and you pinpoint with this knob. This knob, and this is where people make the mistake at, they think turn all knobs to the right means restore all the information. No. This is 23, it's the 6 o'clock position. This is 67. The middle is somewhere between 38 and 40. The midpoint between 23 and 67. Okay? You can see I have mine at the midpoint. And the reason why I have mine at the midpoint, because my enclosure is tuned to 32 hertz. So I have it set at the midpoint, but I have this set wide as possible. So even though I'm restoring frequencies at 38, 37, and 39, because I have this set as wide as possible, it's always it's dipping all the way down to 32. My probably already dipping down to 28. And it's also going up from 38 to 48. Because this knob here, it's like a it's like an EQ. You know how you pull something up? You have a sheet and you, and if you had a sheet on the ground and you pick it up in the middle and pick that sheet up, you make a little a little heel, don't you? Well that's exactly what this does. As you pick that sheet up, it falls off on both sides. And it increases the frequencies of that as well. It increases, it increases the frequency as that as well to match the amplitude of the frequency you have desired, set it desire to capture. If you turn all the way down here, it's going to, some people say, like, man, it sounds like shit. Because if you, if you turn all the way there, you're telling it to restore stuff at 23. And if you had this knob so wide, it's going to restore stuff at 23 and dig all the way down to 16, 13. If your system can't handle it, your shit going to sound like shit. <laughs> So, I'm going to tell you, you get an epicenter and you got your, you got your, your sub enclosure tuned to 35, 34, 32. Set that joker, not at 12 o'clock, set it no, no further back than 10 o'clock position. And no higher than the 12 o'clock position. And set this knob, the first knob, as wide as possible. And that's going to give you your best listening experience. So when you turn the knob, you'll actually be able to hear what you're doing. And you will not overload the subwoofers because you're not increasing bass you're restoring lost harmonics to the amplitude where you can hear it and the woofers can play it that's all you're doing with epicenter it's a best restoration it tells you on it it's a restoration device it doesn't boost you could take it i could take this epicenter out right now it's in line from the signal it's in line from the signal from the lc from the to the epicenter and then to the amp. I could take it out and go straight to the amp and my music was it won't have the same impact because it's just gonna play it's gonna play how it was, how it was not how it was recorded but as it was distributed. But I don't have to reset my amp at all. Because it's not adding anything to it. It's just increasing the information that's being sent to the subs. That's all it's doing. Increasing the information that's being sent. Not adding, increasing the information that's present in the track that would normally not be heard. That's all the epicenter does. 
So it makes it seem like it's making your music hit harder. But it's not adding anything to it. It's just increasing what's already there. But it's not boosting it. It's bringing it up to an amplitude that you can hear it. So that's how you set it. Pretty much set this knob here at 10 or 12. Somewhere between 10 and 12 with most systems. And set this knob as wide as possible. And then when you turn your knob, you'll see the effects. If you don't want to increase nothing. But now putting the epicenter in, epicenter does do one thing. It's always processing the information. So when you put epicenter in, you can turn, you can take the base control knob, the epicenter knob, and you can turn all the way down, which is turning to the left, and it'll take all the music, it'll take all the bass out the music. <laughs> it'll take everything below 150 completely out the song. You can make any song a cappella. Epicenter will do that. It can take you could once you put epicenter in line from the signal to the amp, you can use the epicenter to take all the information, all the bass information out. So you can make anything play a cappella. Anything play a cappella. It'll play nothing but mid bass frequencies, no sub frequencies at all. So when you run that percent and you want to say, well, how would how how does it sound if it's just normal listening? You know, just normal listening. Set it at if the knobs at all the way turned down, set it at nine o'clock. And that's how the music is normally. Anything past the nine o'clock position on the knob, on the remote knob you are increasing the information that's present in the song. You're bringing it up to a, a amplitude that the subwoofer's can play it and you can hear it. But if you just set the knob, once you set these two knobs here, then you can set your remote knob at nine o'clock. And it's never gonna add any, it's not gonna increase any music. But as you turn it to 10, 11, 12, three o'clock, you're, you're restoring, you're adding more information to the song. Okay? And that's, that's what that percent does. I love them, but you got to know how to set them. If you don't know how to set them, you, you need to take it to a, a reputable dealer. Best Buy sells them. Best Buy guys know how to set them as well. All right? Peace. And be out of here. Look at this pretty ass box. <laughs> $100 subs. Peace.